viewing Cisco Boot Optimized M.2 RAID Controller Details. Note that before you begin, the server must be powered on. In the navigation pane, click the storage menu and then click the appropriate M.2 RAID controller. The controller info tab displays by default in the controller area. In the health status area, the composite health field shows the combined health of the controller, the attached drives, and the battery backup unit. This can show as good, moderate fault, severe fault, or NA. The controller status field can show as optimal, which means the controller is functioning properly, or failed, which means the controller is not functioning. The firmware versions area shows the name of the Cisco Boot Optimized M2 RAID controller, the product ID, the serial number, and the firmware package build. For the firmware component version numbers, see the running firmware images area. The PCI Info area shows the name of the PCIe slot in which the controller is located, the vendor ID, the device ID, the sub-vendor ID, and the sub-device ID, all in hexadecimal. In the Manufacturing Data area, Review the manufacturing date of the Cisco Boot Optimized M.2 RAID controller in the format year, month, and day. Then review the board revision number, if any. In the Next Patrol Read Schedule area, the PR State field shows the patrol read state of the M.2 RAID controllers. It can be ready, stopped, or active. The default state is NA. And the PR Schedule mode is manual by default. In the Running Firmware Images area, review the BIOS Option PROM version number, the Active Firmware version number, and the Boot Block version number. In the Virtual Drive Count area, review the number of virtual drives configured on a controller, the number of virtual drives in a degraded state on the controller, and the number of virtual drives that have failed on the controller. In the Physical Drive Count area, review the number of physical drives present on the controller, the number of physical drives in a critical state, and the number of physical drives that have failed. The Capabilities area shows the RAID level supported by the controller. RAID 1 is simple mirroring. And in the Hardware Configuration area, the Number of Backend Ports field shows the number of SATA ports on the controller. 